What's up everyone, Cascobi here, and I wanted to show you quickly today how you can get a custom logo on your Launchpad Pro Mark III, Launchpad X, or Launchpad Mini Mark III. It's actually a pretty simple process if you've got the right tools for it, so stick around and you can see how you can make your Launchpad your own. But before that, a quick word from the sponsor for this video. Back in the day when I kicked off my launchpad journey, there was nothing out there to help me learn the skills I needed. Lucky for you guys though, you have Melodics. Melodics is a day-by-day -day training app that takes you through all the resources you need to perfect your performances. It does this in a way that's not overwhelming and just encourages you to get in a few minutes of practice each day to sharpen your abilities. It's also got over 400 hand-picked tutorial sessions to help you tackle all the skills you need, as well as a dedicated tutorial path to help you up right from the start. Head to the link in the description below to find my 20% off discount code to get started with your learning journey. Quick disclaimer, doing this will void your warranty and Novation will not be your friend anymore. I don't know, I mean, I can't speak for them. But hey, your launch pad will look cool, so let's keep going. So, very first thing you'll want to do is get under some bright lighting. A heat gun low heat will help you for this mod, but if you don't have one, a hairdryer should do just fine. Take your hairdryer and heat around the area of the logo and heat up the adhesive to loosen it from the chassis. You'll want to wait until it's a little too hot to the touch, and then try and get into the side of it with a blunt thin object like a knife or metal spudger. Pry it up until it's free from the chassis, and then when it's out, Peel off any adhesive that's left behind to make it clean when you reinstall it. Make sure to get all the adhesive off the back of the logo as well so it's as clean as it can be. We now need to sand this piece down so that we can get the Novation logo off the back and make it your own. So let's make this into a true life hack video by bringing out the hot glue gun. I found that hot gluing a screw onto it, as weird as that sounds, actually helps me get a better grip while I'm sanding the piece down. Now we probably need as many sandpaper grits as you can possibly get hold of. I'm going to start with some 320 grit then some 600, then 800, then 1000, then 1200, then 1500, then 2000, then 3000, you get the idea. Doing this will remove the Novation logo from the back, as well as make the piece as smooth as possible so your own logo can shine through with no problem. Just make sure you sand the side with the actual logo on it, not the glossy side like I've seen some people do. Then just snap off the hot glue and the screw from your freshly made plastic square. How exciting. It's time to polish it. I used a little bit of car headlight polishing fluid for this. It's such a fine grit that it makes it really smooth. Put a tiny little blob onto the piece and wipe it in with a paper towel. This should make your piece super polished and ready for you to add your own logo. There's a few methods you can do to make this look as good as possible. The method I used to make my logo involved a vinyl cutter to make a black and a white layer of material. White allowing the light to go through and black to hide the light and make a logo shape out of it. This method seems to get the best results but it's not easy for everyone because not everyone has a vinyl cutter so I'll tell you another method that works just as well. So first what you want to do is you want to find a black and white square image of your logo that you want to put on your launch pad. This now needs to be printed so we're going to open it up in Microsoft Word, my favourite program, and we'll add the image to a new document. Right click the image, select size and position, and if you're making a logo for Launchpad Pro Mark 3 or X, set the width and height to 0.8 inches, and if you've got a Mini Mark 3, set it to 0.6 inches. Make a couple of copies of the image so you've got a backup in case you mess it up and then print it. Ideally with a toner printer because that blocks out a little bit more light, but if you don't have one, a normal laser printer works just fine too. With the logo now printed, you need to cut the square out from the sheet of paper. You could stop here, but if you don't want light shining through the black parts of paper, then we need to keep going. It helps to run a sharpie along the edge of the logo and fill in the side so that no light escapes and it just looks a little bit cleaner. The next step would be to flip over the printed logo and put it on top of some sort of bright surface. As you can see, I'm using my phone screen to see the logo through from the other side. And I'm now just gonna trace around the outside of it with a thin ballpoint pen to get the edges and then I'll use a thicker sharpie to fill in the rest of it. And in case you thought that last step was entirely useless, here's the plain logo with the torch behind it, and you can clearly see light still comes through the black parts of the paper. But if we put our new one on that we've drawn on the back of, you can see that it blocks out the light just as you expect it to. With the logo piece complete, you can now secure it inside the original launchpad chassis with a small dot of super glue on each corner of the plastic piece. Be careful though not to let the glue soak into the paper as this will make the ink bleed and you'll have to start completely over. Trust me, I had to do it like seven times. And there you have it. Custom logo on your brand new launch pad. Hopefully that was easy enough to follow and if you got some good results, please send them over to me on Instagram and Discord. I'll have a look over them and I will give you a thumbs up. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.